In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can bridge to the ZK Sync era network and you can potentially start interacting with applications on that network and then qualify for the future airdrop, which has been confirmed. So for starters, you're gonna to need to get some ETH onto the ZK Sync network. And there's a few different ways that you can do that. Now you can use the ZK Sync native bridge and you can transfer from the Ethereum mainnet to ZK Sync era. However, I will say that the transaction fees for bridging this way, especially from the Ethereum network, can be quite high. So you can see actually that's gonna charge me $10 worth of ETH if I try to transfer right now from ETH mainnet to ZK Sync era. Now the good thing is that there's other options out there. For example, you can use a bridge like Orbiter where you can select the network you wanna transfer from and the network you wanna to transfer to. And this way, by transferring through this bridge, you don't have to use the Ethereum mainnet and you can save money on transaction fees. However, I will say here that there is an argument to be made for using the ZK Sync native bridge at least one time and to bridge a larger amount so that the hit that you're taking on the transaction fees isn't a very significant portion of the ETH that you're sending. But by using the native bridge, that might work into the calculation somehow for the future airdrop. It might give you more points or a larger share. So that is something to consider. However, if your only priority is to save money on transaction fees, then using the Orbiter Bridge is definitely a good option. You select your from network, you select your to network, and then you select how much you wanna send. Once you confirm this transaction by hitting confirm and send, it pops up in your MetaMask wallet and then you can confirm it like this and you can see that the transaction is going through. Now it usually takes a couple of seconds to maximum a couple of minutes, but then your ETH will be on the new network. And if I go to my MetaMask wallet and change from base to ZK Sync era, now that the transaction has gone through, you can see that I have the ETH that I transferred also, I have some other ETH that I previously transferred as well. So now we have ETH on the ZK Sync Air network and we can start interacting with different apps on this network that will help us potentially qualify for a future airdrop. But I will post other tutorials on how you can interact with the ZK Sync ecosystem later. Hopefully you found this useful and have a great day.